Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Afan Tips One, and this uh, is um, a general overview of uh, the Apple uh, kind of keynote today. The uh, the iPhone 4.0. If you didn't hear about it, it was um, literally just finished uh, 10 minutes ago, and I thought I'd be um, get out there and uh, show you what uh, Apple uh, have released. So today was all about the 4.0 um, uh, software update for the iPhone. And before I start, I must say that this update. Uh, is it really only for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch third generation? The first generation iPhone doesn't get any of it. Now there's a first generation iPod Touch. The iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch second generation do get um, uh, the update, but without some features, which I'll tell you about now. Uh, what Apple did was they first started off with um, the iPad, um, showing how much, how many. Uh, Units they sold four hundred fifty thousand, and it's only been out. It's been out less than a week, five days, I think. And um, people were slagging it and saying that it wouldn't get anywhere. But uh, I think Steve Jobs has done it again, and um, he was showing it the iBook Store and the uh, the apps downloaded. So going on with the um, iPhone four point what Apple did, they broke down the event into seven different parts for the four point software, and what they did was. Um, they uh, were saying that the preview the for developers would be be able to download it today, so um, all hackers and stuff can actually try and download it and use it. But the actual for the consumers would be available in the summer. So what they did was they broke it down to seven um, uh, sections, and they as you can see here seven uh, tempos. And the first one was of course the most awaited for multitasking. So what Apple discussed was that um, people people who use um, Pandora can run down the app uh, background while surfing the web. So we can close the application and start using it. And Apple have found a way uh, to uh, run the application in the background without draining your battery. What they do is that they have um, they're using certain APIs in the in your actual uh, development kit, and uh, it can run. Um, certain aspects of the app, say music from Pandora running in the background, then um, then the actual whole application running in the background like uh, Android or uh, any other like Blackberry and stuff, uh, operating systems. So they said that um, they've done it in a way so it doesn't make the phone really sluggish and um, they have a new uh, little UI interface for their second update which is, uh, as you can see there's a background here which is just like the iPad, a few new applications, um, icons if you can see here and um, what they've done is now you can double tap, when you're in an application you can double tap the home button and it will bring out, it will bring the open applications that are uh, presently open along the bottom and you can go straight back into them um, like uh, any other multitasking uh, interface so uh, as you can see here uh, the app, apps fade, the, the top apps and the bottom ones along the bottom show the ones already open and you can use those this is the demo of Pandora as you can see they gave a complete brief talk and um, the second uh, thing which, uh, with um, uh, multitasking which is kind of a big thing I think a lot of people uh, demanded it and um, I think that it's a great new feature so the second one was voice over IP which means that um, people using Skype can now uh, close the application and you can still get incoming calls as we can see here, see so uh, John Appleseed, which is from Skype, which is not even, which is running in the background, multitasking, and if you're on the, if you're on the internet, and it will pop up. So it's kind of like a push notification, but uh, it's still running in the background. So they gave another overview of that. And background location. Um, so those people who were complaining about TomTom, Tom, when you got a phone call, it used to close, and you can, um, you can, you you uh, would have to start the application again. This time you don't have to do that, it will run in the background and voice will continue to run. See, as you can see over here, over, after 300 yards turn right, it will continue running in the background. So that's that's great, uh, people won't complain anymore, and um, it's, uh, it's a great new feature. So that's uh, multitasking. If you want to have a look at this, so this is Engadget.com, and um, if you want a, a briefer version, look at iPhoneTips1.com, uh, which is uh, in the, well, down below us, and um, please favor and like this video, it'd be cool. So those are the seven services for multitasking. The second service, which is folders, which is pretty nice, I think, um, which is uh, where 
it's like stacks and um, well, it's not really like stacks. It's like a folder you get on Mac OS uh, Leopard, Snow Leopard, and um, you can drag an icon. You click on your icon, make it wiggle, and you can drive that, drag that icon onto another icon, and it will give you a folder. So pretty nice new interface. Um, again, only for the iPhone 3 gs Multitasking is only for the iPhone 3 gs and Apple Touch 3G. So sorry for those iPhone 3 G users. And um, now instead of having 180 applications, which are the nine pages, you can have 2,160 apps, which um, is pretty amazing. And um, I think that's, I think many people will have 2,160 apps, but uh, nice to have for those, uh, those app lovers out there. We've also added a um, mail application, which is all integrated, uh, your exchange, and you can have it all in organized in a thread which is nice and easy to access your mail. So that's pretty much uh, on that side. Now the iBook uh, store is now available on the iPhone. Uh, apparently a great success on the iPad. I haven't got one yet but because uh, it it's not out in the UK. But um, the iBook store looks great. Um, I think people will enjoy it. Another nice ebook reader. Apple just trying to gain market share again since the iPhone is one of the biggest uh, consumer products out there. And uh, we move on to the boring stuff, but enterprise businesses, developers, and all that kind of stuff. Exchange, which missed that. This is a great new feature, uh, the Game Center, where um, which is the sixth um, Pole Game Center. Um, they're comparing the iPhone compared to the PSP and the DS, you know, and um, I think it's uh, it's great. And um, they're showing that uh, Apple's got kind of got their own Xbox Live, which is like a what's it called? Um, you can invite friends, you can match make, so you can. Uh, Request uh, to play friends through your iPhone now, and you can uh, share your achievements and your trophies and all of that through this game center, which is brilliant. We've also generated this uh, new uh, iAd, which is mobile advertising, where inside the application there used to be uh, ads which weren't very organized, and Apple have made some nice new um, interface for advertising. And they're called iAds, which is matching against Google um, Google AdSense and Google AdWords. So I think it's quite nice that Apple have made this for developers. For those free apps, free apps get downloaded. They have millions of downloads and they want to generate some revenue. So Apple have created this brand new iAd, which is uh, which was really nice. You can have a look at the um, the demo. They have Toy Story, the demo, which was, um, you can watch the video on apple.com. should be up, up tonight. So check it out. That was the seventh, uh, tenth part of the day, uh, which was the uh, iAd, and um, they can start testing now. Developers can start uh, downloading it from today. It'll be available for the iPhone 3GS uh, and Apple Touch 3G summer. So in the iPhone 3G and the Apple Touch second generation will get limited features. So that is oh yeah, and the iPad will be receiving the uh, OS 4, so um, which will be nice, nice multitasking it. You can make uh, make good use for advertising and stuff like that. So that is basically the iPhone OS 4.0. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Be awesome. Um, we'll um, be looking at the launch of the iPad in the UK, and um, I will be buying the new iPhone whenever it comes out. So uh, please subscribe for that. And uh, latest tech news will follow. Visit iPhone Tips One and follow me on Twitter. Would be uh, great. Thanks for watching. It's your boy iPhone Tips One. Peace.